Hey, 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 welcome back to Mirror Expressions, where I share a little bit of myself with you all, and I am, invite you all in to do the same. Take a moment, y'all, to hit that like button. Take another moment to hit that subscribe button if you have not already, and let's go ahead and get into it. Now, y'all, you know how we like to start off over, over here. Y'all let me know how y'all are doing by dropping a mirror emoji in the chat if you have looked in a mirror today and you are A1 with what you see looking back at you. And if not, as always, 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 I encourage you all to do what you must to get back to a healthier you. Yes, honey. So I'm letting y'all know that I'm A-OK. -okay. I'm good. I'm Gucci. I'm loving life. I'm blessed to be here. So let's get it started. We are recapping and reviewing uh, Abbott Elementary. Abbott Elementary, we are season two, episode two in the wrong delivery, right? So this episode opens up with everybody in the break room. They're discussing rebooting Spider-Man and who should play Spider-Man, y'all. This is like the funniest conversation. So everybody's kind of like just giving their suggestion on who they think will play a good Spider-Man. Ava, why this girl done said 50 cent, y'all? I said, oh my goodness, that dog on Ava. <laughs> she cracks me up, y'all. She cracks me up. But anyway, she uh she said 50 cent. So Bobby was just like, yeah, if it's a black person though, it should be Brian Austin Granny. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, Barbara mixes up white celebrities with black celebrities, right? So, um, like, like if they have similar names, like in this case, she didn't mean uh Brian Austin Green, she meant Brian Tyree Henry, <laughs> or like. She is up telling one of her students, little black student, that she looks like Carrie Underwood, which she meant she looks like Carrie Washington. <laughs> so, so it was that type of thing. So anyway, we see that the air isn't working properly. There are among other things, the school is just dirty. Like, so they're all in the office, just kind of just talking about the 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 bad things that are going on in the school, right, and things that they wish they they were able to fix. So we learned that they're supposed to be using the rest of the grant money to buy cleaning supplies. I said cleaning supplies. But uh, like, why are those provided? Are those not provided in the public school system? Like, anyway, that's just a thought. I was just wondering. So anyway, they're discussing all of this while in the office, right? And then Ava just shows up it makes a comment about not flirting with Gregory in front of Barbara since he's dating her daughter, Taylor. <laughs> like, Ava, <laughs> why you keep flirting with this man, Ava? Why? <laughs> oh, but anyway, we find out that apparently, though, uh, it, it's some trouble in paradise between Gregory and Taylor, right? Uh, anyway, so they end up finding this box of books, like new books. So they're all getting excited, like, oh, I think they were like social study books, and they're going through it, and it's like, we got new books, and it's talking about this, it's talking about like it's relevant facts in there. And so somebody ends up looking at the box and just like, oh, this isn't for us, this is for the, the uh charter school down the street, right? I think uh, Addington, that's what it was called. So they decide to go check out the school and deliver the boxes of books. So this is where the wrong delivery comes in, right? So they decide to do that on the lunch, on their lunch break. So all of them were down walking through the hall of the, uh, the new school, right? The uh, the charter school. I think it's, it's pretty much all of them except for uh, Principal Abel. So... They're looking, it's all bright and cheery. The air is working. There's no smell. And so as they're walking, they run into Tina. So y'all remember Tina is the teacher from last season that ended up kicking her student. And um, Gregory took her place. So she's now teaching at the, um, at the charter school, right? And so she gives them a tour of the school and she's bragging about 
how they have this and how they have that, baby. <laughs> and every time Janine is trying to hype up Abby, right? <laughs> every time Tina say something, she coming back with, well, Abby's this and Abby has that to it. <laughs> So, as they're talking, this other teacher comes down the hallway, right? Now, Jacob refers to her as uh, Melissa's charter school doppelganger because they kind of look alike. They have this same deep, throaty, authoritative voice, you know. Um, you can tell they kind of come from the same background, um, the only thing like uh she got blonde hair, Melissa has red, right? So uh yeah, so Jacob calls her her charter school doppelganger, right? So they end up locking eyes as this teacher is passing by uh the teacher and Melissa, right? And so they just stare staring each other down like they have a literal literally have a stare down right there in the middle of the hallway before Melissa was like, yeah, let's just get up out of here. You know what I'm saying? I was like, how weird. Like, what was that about? You know, at this time, we don't find, we don't know, but we find out later on. So anyway, Gregory ends up sharing with Jacob that things aren't great with Taylor and um, that he's been avoiding Barbara because he needs to figure out what to do with Taylor, how to end things before he feels comfortable being with Barbara, right? So, meanwhile, Janine is trying to paint her classroom with Ava walks in and stops her and says that, hey, you can't do that because there's all these regulations since we're a public school system, you know. And uh, so some of the students begin to, you know, mumble and grumble, talking about uh, Addison has this. Addison has a computer lab. They go on monthly field trips, you know. And so, of course, you know, that gets Janine wheels to spin. You know how she always trying to come up, come up with a brilliant idea. So she decides that a computer lab for the library would be a, a great idea and that they could use, they could possibly use the grant money to make that happen. So the only thing is there's only enough of the grant money left to cover one computer. So they're all in the break room. So she votes for getting one computer while all the others start making other suggestions on what to do with the rest of the grant money. So Barbara says, you know, she just kind of reminds Janine that, hey, we shouldn't be trying to compete with another school anyway, but they, they need to be trying to focus on what's best for their students. So Ava tells them, well, hey, we're going to have a little shark tank. Everybody come with their, your ideas about um, what to do with this grant money, and we'll decide that way. So <laughs> the day of the shark tank, Janine is the only one that comes ready out of the group to present right and meanwhile gregory he's still trying to dodge barbara and jacob is <laughs> jacob is giving him some questionable advice on how to end things with taylor right he tells him to let it peter out <laughs> just just let it peter basically um uh, just kind of um letting things feel like not exactly just ghosting her, but like so I responded to her list. I think he said stop using exclamation points when you texting her. And, <laughs> and then he said it sound like he got a little person with like he's speaking from his fingers, like maybe he done been petered out on uh, a time or two himself. <laughs> So it's shark tank, it's shark tank time, right? And so Ava has Courtney, which is one of the students up there with her, and then Mr. Johnson. So it's the three of them that are doing the judge judging, right? Oh, y'all, this was so funny. Ava tells Courtney that she reminds her of a young her, and Courtney says, "Well, I think of you as like an old me." <laughs> Oh, y'all, I love these. I love these moments. This show is just too funny, too funny and too cute. So, the different people start coming in, right? 
pitching pitching their ideas about what to do with the grant money. We see the lunch lady come in first. She wants to use it for um stuff with the cafeteria. Somebody else comes in. And Ava is just like, do you even work here? The lady's like, I've been, I've been here for like the past nine years, right? Then Mr. Johnson gets so he tried to shoot his shot about what to do with the uh with the grant money with the grant money. Then uh Gregory's um oh wait a minute. Then uh so it's like more people coming, but we end up getting a shot of Janine preparing to go uh before them. So she's with Gregory, like practicing her pitch and what she needs to do and what things she needs to change and so Gregory ends up telling her that she's doing the most right and so she comes ends up complimenting him on how honest he is and so now that she's put that in his head like that he's a very honest person he's just like I am so now he's kind of rethinking his advice that um Jacob gave him about petering out on uh Taylor he's just like mm, maybe that's not the best way you know so we can think we can see them wheels turning like okay he ain't gonna do that to her so we back to the shark tank right somebody comes uh this is another guy from the cafeteria he comes in and he wants to use the uh money for like a food truck where he sells uh uh water ice which is kind of like um shaved ice or um uh, yeah shaved ice kind of thing um that's what at least what it looks like so now it's janine's turn and wait a minute back to the other dude with the uh food truck she was just like that ain't even for the school <laughs> Like, how do you think we going to spend the money on something like that? But anyway, that's Janine's turn, right? And she's extra and over the top as usual, complete with t-shirts, a toy computer, a bar graph, and a pen like. And I'm thinking, all I'm thinking is, I thought Gregory told you to turn it down, to turn it down, so you were doing too much. I said, oh, child, I hate to see what it was like before then. But anyway, it's time to announce the winner, right? So Janine's idea win. Like, they're all in the break room waiting on, you know, Ava and uh, Mr. Johnson and Courtney to come in. So they do. And they declare uh, Janine a winner. So they are going to invest in one computer. <laughs> However, as they're all in there, a student comes running in, telling everybody to come to the cafeteria. Something's going on. So they all run to the cafeteria. They get there and they see that the cafeteria is full of mice just running around everything. Paul Gregory on the table. And... I just said, that would have been me, y'all. <laughs> to see all the little mice running around, baby, I would have been no good. <laughs> None. And the sad part about it is, I used to have a snake, right? And I would feed him live mice. Like, you could do live or frozen or whatever. But, so I would handle a mouse here and there whenever it was time. I fed them like once a week and I would just go and they would put them in a box. And I would just turn the box over into the cage. But to just have them things loose running around like that. Oh, no. Oh, no. I would have been no good. I would have been done. <laughs> just nasty. And that's where they eat into. Oh, no. So, um, apparently, um, all these spies came from the charter school. And I think that uh, it was mentioned when Tina was giving them a um a tour of the school, she mentioned something about the mice problem and how they were able to get rid of it instead of trying to beat them down like they had to do at Abbott Elementary. So, with that being said, uh, they decide to use the rest of the grant money to hire an exterminator to get rid of the mice. So. They don't get to get the one computer like they initially were gonna do since Janine had uh Janine idea Janine's idea had one. They're now using the money to uh get an exterminator. 
Gregory decides to talk to Barbara, stop avoiding her, but to go and talk to her. And before he gets to say his piece, she says, oh, I, I need to talk to you too. And she says, I'm sorry you and Taylor didn't work out. So Gregory looking all surprised, like, huh? And he was like, she was like, oh, did I break the news? <laughs> I told her about letting uh, things petering out. <laughs> so come to find now, he was going to peter out on her when she is sitting here petering out on him. Like, oh my goodness. So, uh, then, then, uh, Barbara says that, uh, Taylor told her that she did that. She was petering out on him because he's a, a broke boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so in light of them having to use the, uh, grant money for the exterminator, they only have a few hundred dollars left, right? So Ava has decided to have a heart and get the uh, water ice truck for the guy, right? So it's outside and all the kids and uh, staff, they're outside enjoying having this water ice. They're all eating on it. And then one of the uh, children from Abington school, they come up and they're all jealous because uh, Avid's kids have this this shaved ice uh, food truck, and they don't have that. And so, um, then Melissa's charter school doppelganger, <laughs> she walks up too, right? Oh, goodness. She walks up, and Melissa's there, right? And so, the two of them start exchanging words, right? Come to find out, y'all, that is Melissa's sister. <laughs> and everybody's like, what? That's your sister the whole entire time? <laughs> and you didn't say nothing? <laughs> and that was pretty much it, because Melissa's like, I'm not speaking on any further. <laughs> oh, so Gregory, he's kind of off by himself during this time. And Janine is noticing, and so Jacob's kind of like filling her in on the fact that, hey, he and Taylor just broke up. So, you know, he's kind of down about this. So, Janine goes to grab him uh, some water ice and takes it to him. And before they can get the chit chat, Ava interrupts them and hypes her own self up for providing this opportunity for her and, the, I mean, well, for the staff and for the kids. And I'm just like, now, see, y'all know we all waiting on Janine and Gregory to get it popping. Like, that was a moment to kind of start relating. And, and here come Ava, got to come interrupt things. <laughs> so, anyway, Gregory, Jacob, and uh, Mr. Johnson are talking, uh, are all talking at a break room, right? So, Mr. Johnson, you know, he asked Gregory how the Peter and Al is going, right? And so Gregory says that he actually got petered out. So Jacob get all excited and said, oh, that's one more thing that you and I have in common. I told you, I told y'all, Jacob and like he had got petered out on time or two, uh, got petered out on the time or two himself. So Mr. Johnson says that if it can happen to Michael B. Jordan, it can happen to you. Y'all... <laughs> Why Bob walked up buddy there and said, I love that white boy and back to the future. <laughs> Barbara is, is always mixing up stuff. So so Gregory, Mr. Johnson, and Jacob all oh, looked at each other like Michael J. Fox. <laughs> that dog on Barbara stay mixing those stuff. <laughs> Y'all, but that was the end. I love this episode. Like, I don't think there's been an episode that I haven't enjoyed as of yet. Like, since uh season one and then, like, these first two episodes, they've been good. So, I'm looking forward to more. That was it, y'all. And until next time, I'll pray for you all. You please continue to pray for me. And we will what? Bye, y'all.